What's going on guys, White Exotics? Got an update for you in the reptile room. So this is how it's going so far. Starting to really fill this place out now. And I've also had a couple of my Christmas presents early. So this is my Nana Marine setup. I'm gonna get a mantis shrimp for this. And it has a couple of light functions on it. We've got regular blue light or black light. I'm not sure, I think that's a black light, but yeah, so um, this is the perfect size enclosure for me, for what I want to get in here, which is actually a mantis shrimp. And hopefully when I get this guy in here, he's not going to smash through the glass, as I've heard they can do. So let's just get back here and turn the light off. It's actually so lit up and bright in here now, I don't actually need these lights. There we go. So yeah, coming along really well. Just put that together yesterday. And here's the other thing, guys. This is the other new lizard that I've got. And you can see him right at the back there. It's nice and warm in here. So this guy is a Maru, pardon me, a Maroki blue tongue skink. Well, that's what he was labelled as. But I've actually done some research and looked at pictures, and he seems to more match the Halmahera type of blue tongue skink. There's a couple of subspecies, and then you've got the Australian versions. But yeah. If that looks like a Meraki, guys, then uh, put that in the comments below because to me it looks like Halma era. So, um, yeah, just a baby at the moment, and he's in a three and a half foot tank, so that should last him most of his life. We'll see how big he actually ends up getting. The cat's in here as well. You want to eat him, don't you? He's growing big. Yeah, so he seems quite happy in there at the moment. One of the other things I got, guys, is this um, Exoterra. I'm not sure the actual make of it, but it also has a black light. And you can change the settings by tapping the top. So I was thinking of getting a scorpion in here, maybe, because of the bioluminescence they give off. Black light picks that up. That's a possibility. I didn't want to put anything that, you know, like uh, my salmon pink, I could put that in here. Probably would web it up too much and spoil it, so... Yeah, going to wait a little while to see what I want to put in there. And we've got more lights. These things are called bar lights. Almost look like a UVB lamp. They're not. So it's all coming together really well, guys. And I just need to wait for these slings to get bigger that are in here. They're now in their own little sweet jars. And I just drilled holes in the tops. So with this heat, um, a couple of them already shed. So that shows you that. That's my chromata, uh, actually, do you know what, I can't remember the name. Nandu chromatus. We've got the T blondie in this one. And there it is there eating. Probably just about see that. There we go. So that's in a very humid setup. My golden blue leg baboon, uh, Parpatrica pulp cripes. That's doing really well. This one's my king baboon. And this little guy hasn't started burrowing yet. Oh, never mind. I just just seen him dive down there, so maybe he has. Got some baboon spiders there. Maticeps babies. There we go. So that's the Harpatrica polcripes, polcripes, Pretty bad with pronunciation on these things. Um, so, yep, that guy's shed, and pretty soon, hopefully, he gets out of the fragile juvenile stage that he's in at the moment. So, there we go, guys. I'll do you another update when I've got stuff in that. It's going to be awesome. And also, I'm looking at a biopod for the other corner here. Because I've just been seeing these things and you can control them on your phones, just like you can with some of these aqua uh, marine aquariums. You can put like um, rainforest settings, there's cameras, there's all sorts. I mean, they're expensive, but I'm looking to get one anyway. Really map this place out. So there we go, guys, hope you've enjoyed. And um, if you're noticing one that's slightly different, I took the picture off because the chicken spider um, started to give off a funny smell. So I'm gonna put it to dry somewhere else. Alright guys, I think that about covers everything I wanted to show you. 
and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out, guys.